So in the series of learning programming in C, we are discussing some special pointers. In C, we have discussed void, null, and dangling pointer. Now we are left with one more pointer that is wild pointer. So that we will discuss in uh, this video. What is wild pointer and what's the reason your uh, you know uh, program a pointer becomes wild pointer in your program. We will see that thing with the help of a simple program and we will also see uh, when you run that program which is having a wild pointer then what kind of output you get or maybe you are getting which kind of error or warning what you get. So that also we will discuss practically right everything about wild pointer we will discuss in this video. It is not a you know, uh, know that very large concept in C but it is just a simple and a small concept you have to be aware about these kind of pointers right like void, null, dangling and wild pointer. So that we will discuss in this video. But before that just want to tell you one thing. If you are looking for a great career in software development then you must have to think about the aspects like what is trending in the industry and the type of questions being asked in the interviews. How to improve your code share ranking. So here an academy brings you a platform where you can watch where you can get access to weekly shows which you can watch live and their host are 7 star coders on code chef and are industry experts with years of experience. And they are also working in some of the top companies like Amazon, Google, LinkedIn. And in these episodes, uh, they will be covering a lot of content that would be really helpful for your career. Like in live episodes, you can get opportunity to ask uh, Tech HR about uh, top 20 questions and industry leaders directly about their recruitment process in startups and MNCs and what's the eligibility criteria and how to apply for them. And you can also get your resume uh, reviewed by the experts. Not only this, you can also participate in mock interviews and learn courses on programming languages, cloud computing, blockchain and crypto, uh, tech aspects of digital marketing and data analytics. Have you ever thought about how these frontline apps like Amazon, Flipkart, Precto, Ola were made in first place and what was the thought process? So here is a show to answer all these questions. In this show, their host Anuj will discuss the architecture breakdown of the popular apps. So learners will uh, get to see how these apps were made and how uh, these apps work. So you can find out the detail of the show and the batch in the link that I'll put in the description box of this video and don't forget to use my code JKL10 to get 10% extra discount on your subscription. So now let's see what is wild pointer. See I hope everybody know how to declare a pointer in star PTR. Right, it is just a declaration of pointer and here it at this time what is the address in this PTR variable, PTR is a variable, memory has been assigned to this variable and some address would be there obviously suppose address of this pointer is uh, 2046 so, and it is going to contain some address obviously pointer is a variable that is going to contain address of another variable but here I am not assigning any address here. So at this time, at this time it is what uninitialized pointer. Right? And if it is uninitialized, then there would be some garbage value. We don't know. It will contain some address like we have memory. If your machine is of 32 bits, then the, the memory would be of how many bytes you will have? 2 raised to power 32. Right? Like numbering would be from uh, 0, 1, 2 each byte. Like this. Till 2 raised to power 32 these many bytes you would have. So somewhere suppose somewhere in this memory 4 bytes has been allocated to this pointer size is of 4 byte obviously it depends on that um, architecture of your machine right. So in 32 bit 4 bytes so suppose 4 bytes means uh, 2046 is the first byte 2047 2048 2049 right obviously we will take base address so 2046 of this pointer and this pointer is having what now any garbage value suppose address there is some block whose address is suppose um, 5146 and it is containing address 5146 right because we haven't as assigned any address to this pointer and now if you will print this pointer like asterisk ptr if you want to print whatever the value at this address. Address is what? In PTR now address is 5146. Now value at this address. We don't know what is the value because it is not a valid address. So maybe it will give some garbage value. We don't know what is there at that address or maybe your program will crash. So it will show some undefined behavior. Right? We can't say 
what it will print because this block that this pointer is containing address of this block and this is not consumed memory we haven't reserved this memory right so it's like invalid for us we have just reserved these four bytes because we have just declare a pointer so now this memory is reserved for us uh, having a base address 2046 right so it will give some garbage value right or maybe your program will crash so this pointer you can say this is acting as a wild pointer now you can say this is uninitialized pointer so if a pointer is uninitialized that will act as a wild pointer right so these are risky to use please don't leave any pointer uninitialized because it will give some you know, nasty bugs in your uh, system in your uh, program right so now what is the solution what you can say if you don't know how to if you don't know like what address uh, you you want to store in this pointer then simply you can say make it null pointer that we have already discussed null pointer right so now in pointer we have zero null so it is not pointing to any valid address right and we cannot dereference this pointer further in program if you want to assign any address in this pointer you can assign like here i am taking int x is equal to 5 and here I, I want to assign ptr is equal to address of x so now we have one more we have some uh, we have reserved some space for this x four bytes because it is of integer type and suppose starting address is what thousand and in x we have five so now this pointer is containing what thousand and it is now pointing to x now it is valid now it is no more a wild pointer it's like a normal pointer which is containing address of x and whenever you dereference this pointer now it will give you value at thousand that is five it will give you five right yeah this is also not wild pointer because starting we have we have uh, made it what null pointer so it is no more a wild pointer if you leave it like this then it is wild pointer here but here it is normal pointer because we have assigned address right so one more thing what you can do uh, if you don't want to take any variable or these kind of thing so dynamically you can allocate memory when you declare a pointer here only dynamically you can uh, uh, use what malloc function malloc and here you can simply write like size of int so four bytes would be allocated and the base address of that memory would be given to this pointer so suppose dynamically uh, this memory has been allocated uh, this memory four bytes suppose uh, address is 3146 right now we don't have any x here and now it is containing 3146 so now this pointer is pointing to this memory right we haven't taken any variable here so directly using asterisk ptr you can directly store any value here if you want to store like 5 so you can store here 5 and if you want to access you can access it will print 5 so here it is no more a uh, wild pointer or uninitialized pointer assuming that malloc will work fine it will not return null right so wild pointer is what it is a pointer you can say uninitialized pointer or it is a pointer that is pointing to any random memory location any random memory location right and how to remove that situation either you can make pointer is equal to null pointer at starting or you can use this method dynamically when you declare pointer allocate memory right and use this uh, use this method and uh, third is what simply if you dynamically don't allocate memory what you can say if you take a variable like int x is equal to 5 and when you declare a pointer int star ptr directly you can initialize it using address of uh, address of operator like address of x so now here also it is not a wild pointer right there are three ways to get rid of this wild pointer so it's not very complicated thing it's just a simple uh, you know concept you just have to know what is wild pointer like if someone say like wild pointer this is wild pointer or this is dangling pointer so you must be aware about you know these pointers a little bit that's enough right so now let me show you practical on my laptop so now let me create one more file wild pointer dot c right we'll use that header file also stdlib 
maybe we can use that one uh, malloc function here right and uh, now we will in main function I am going to take one pointer like asterisk ptr right I am not I am not going to assign it right uh, sorry initialize it and here printf I am printing what percentage uh, d and dereference it I am going to dereference it. So, what output it will give we do not know let us see see it is giving you 0. So, we do not know it is pointing to any you know random memory location and accessing that memory location. So, maybe sometime it will print some garbage value it depends on machine to machine and architecture to architecture maybe your program will crash or maybe it will give 0 we cannot expect the output. So, it will it is like it will misbehave with you right because it is wild pointer right. Now, better to uh, do what here what you can do you can write here null. So, make it null pointer rather than leaving it uninitialized pointer right. So, and we cannot dereference a null pointer I have told you right. So, better to do not you know better not to uh, dereference it because your program is going to crash now. See if you dereference a null pointer the exe file has stopped working right. So, now you can make it null or in starting only maybe you can take any like variable int a is equal to 9 and you can initialize this pointer asterisk ptr is equal to address of a right. And now if you will dereference it it should give you 9 because value of a is 9. see it is printing 9 right or using malloc function also you can do this thing like you can do what int this is what type casting we are type casting the pointer because malloc is going to return void pointer and we want int size of int here. So, here directly a strict ptr is equal to I am storing 67 suppose right I am not taking any variable and I am now dereferencing this pointer. So, it should give you 67 see it is printing 67. So, now these pointers are not uh, wild pointer right. So, that is for this video now. So, I hope you got what is wild pointer. So, in the next video we will see uh, different concept of C. So, I will see in the next video till then bye bye take care.